Hello everybody, Justin here. I'm very excited to start a new solo series where I'm playing Wendy Adams through the Forgotten Age. We've done a lot of solo uh, list discussions where we talked about solo content, but we don't have a lot of solo content actually on our channel. I think we have one in a third playthroughs. So we're going to try this one out. I've, we've talked about how good Wendy is in solo. Let's see how she does, shall we? In the Forgotten Age, it's a true test of metal because... The exploration mechanic does not F around. I do not like base F exploration, but that's what we're going to play with because that's what we're going to do. So, we saw the deck list was there. I'll, put, I'll remember to put it at the start, or I'll try to remember to put it at the start of each episode. Uh, here are what we spent our provisions on. And then other than that, why don't we dive in? Shuffle these decks up just to make sure. Only 20 cards is pretty rough. I hate you. All right, six Doom, explore, three, lo uh, three clues on a non-campsite location. All right. Well, action one's pretty simple. I should do this stuff, by the way. Seven, so action one is lockpicks, action two is scavenging, and action three is... Probably just Rabbit's Foot. Let's get it out there. Try to get some card draw going. All right, cards and resources. Fine clothes is a nice get. One Doom. And then we got a Pit Viper right off the bat. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. All right, we'll try to evade this guy at four. Four to three. We'll use Wendy's amulet to go six to three. All right. Action two, we're gonna attempt to explore to get out of here. Rope bridge is connected. This location reference is incredible, by the way. That should be 45, please. Thank you so much. So that was action two, we get to move down here. So then action three, let's try to investigate. What's the shroud here? Two. So we have seven to two. We'll succeed by two or more, so we're gonna draw an item card in our hand. So we're gonna get Wendy's amulet into our hand and grab that clue. It's a pretty good turn two, if I do say so myself. Turn one, sorry. I mean, turn two, but you know what I mean. All right. The only downside is now this Pit Viper has made this base camp his home. This is his and his alone. All right, two Doom. Evil card is a Snake Bite. Test foot three. I'll use Wendy's Amulet for this to go six to three. Uh, minus X, where X is the number of vengeance points of the victory display, zero. We have dodged a Snake Bite. Okay, action one, we're gonna use this window to get out fine clothes. And then we're going to explore for action two. Overgrowth, you cannot explore a detached location. We have to cut through the brush. Well, then action three is going to be attempting to cut through the brush at five to, th five to four, pretty rough. Uh, we'll discard flashlight, I should have used that to draw another card. We have cut through the brush. All right, so we played fine clothes, explored, cut through the brush. All right, cards and resources. Backstab is fine. We are at three. How many we drew? There's one, one two, three, four. Four evil cards still. God, that sucks. Okay. Doom's up to three, and our evil card is Test Brain three, so four to three. If you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and add to you, we cannot move or explore. Okay, well, we're go oh, we failed, so let's draw a card. And then we're going to draw a card, gain three resources, and draw a card. All right, end of turn, we're gonna Draw a card and gain some resources. Up to four. And our evil card is... Each 
connecting location. Okay. Oh, uh, it spawns at any empty location. So it does not spawn. That's nice. All right, action one, let's attempt to explore. Dude, it's connected. Get to 45. So then we get to move. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to first test our foot. So we have four to two. That's pretty fine. You know, we'll go five to two. We're good. We don't get it. We don't get to take an extra action, though. Okay, so we're just, we've done all this stuff, so we'll do that. Signal cost to investigate your explore while circuitous trail, check your supplies. No investigator has the compass. Dude, we do. All right, action two, let's investigate our location then. Shroud of one. So we have four, seven. Honestly, we'll go eight. So we get to take a bonus action immediately, but we're also going to use scavenging to return the Wendy's amulet to our hand. Grab that clue. Don't even need to spend our resources because we have the compass, that's great. Uh, with our bonus action, we're going to attempt to explore. Test brain three. I'll use the Wendy's amulet to go six to three. We're fine. Uh, and then for my last action, we'll attempt to explore again. Serpent's Haven is not connected. The River Canyon is connected though. That's very nice. And then these are connected as well. Okay, so what's now 50-50 in here? 50-50. No, it's 25-75. It's All right, well, let's get in some cards and some resources. You know how I said I was risking it with this uh, Wendy's amulet in there? So that's the punishment that comes with uh, playing a Wendy deck. Okay. Ooh, and it's four. Okay, up to five. And what do we got off the top of our deck? Sure. All right, action one, we're gonna draw a card. Action two, we will attempt to explore location. I mean, uh, investigate our location at four. So four plus four is eight, eight to four. Minus one also does not break our lock picks, which is super clutch. These two are also connected, I believe. They are. All right, we're at three clues, so we can bring Ishtaka back. Did we draw a card first? I don't think we did. Action two, we'll draw a card. Action three, we'll play Pete Sylvester. Beautiful. All right, uh, after the end of your turn, we'll take a horror, and then after my turn ends, we'll heal the horror from Peter. I think that checks out, because this is at the end of my turn, which is before, after my turn ends. Of course, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, please. No. No, my pickpocketing. Got sucked into the void. I mean, that just kind of really sucks for my card draw that we want. End of the round, we'll spend our clues to pass through this. Uh, put the set aside Ishtaka enemy into play at the lead investigator's location. How's it going, Ishtaka? It's a pleasure to have you here. Shuffle this. Serpent's Haven, you do not belong in there. Shuffle that. Let's just make sure I didn't put anything else that I'm not supposed to in there. 
Okay, and then we got Fishtaka's Defeated Advance. All right, 6-2. Test Brain 3. And shuffle the set aside Agents of Yig into the deck. All right. Let's, uh, four to, one, four to three. We're good. We're good. Nine Doom. And if his talk is defeated or if she has player clues on her. All right, well, let's try to talk with her at four to two because of our fine clothes. That'll work. Place one clue on her from the token bank. Let's go. So, advance. Uh, remember that Ishtaka is leading the way. We could add one cultist token. Not get to, we must. Get in there. Okay, and shuffle the set aside three runes locations into the deck. All right, but let's see what they are first. So we have Temple of the Fang, which is not connected to our location. Overgrown Ruins, which is not connected to our location. And the Ruins of Etzli, which unfortunately got these two clues here. Which is also not, is not connected to our location. But I believe the Serpent Haven is connected to our location. So we could do that, or we could just move down here. Well, let's shuffle these in. So we have three bad cards. A snake bites one of them, which sucks. One, two, three. All right, so that's not too bad of odds. What else do we do? Um, in advance to... Place her in the victory display and then advance. I'm like, I don't think she stays here and attacks me. Um, advance to the search for the runes. Okay, there it is, search for the runes. Uh, each Etsli gu enemy guardian cannot attack or be attacked, nor the effects on each arrow from the tree's treachery. Do we have one of those in there still? We do. All right, so one's just a dead action. Only investigators of the runes of Etsli can spend the numbers that requ prerequisite number of clues and as a group to advance. Okay, so that was action one. Action two will move down here and then explore, I suppose. So we are looking for tea or hourglass or low on supplies. I will lose two resources. All right, we did not successfully explore. So we'll take a horror. It'll be on Pete and then he will heal. Cards and resources. On the plus side, we have no more bad cards in our deck. That's a win, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. We're a snake. We're a snake. All right, we're gonna attempt to explore. Of course. Uh, five to three. Minus zero. X is the number of engines points in the victory display. All right, action two, let's explore. Path of Thorns is a no-go. Temple of the Fang is a no-go. The Runes of Edsley is a yes-go. Put it here. Okay. And it needs two clues. And we need three clues and we have to come back here. Well, we explored successfully. Let's try to pick a lock. We have eight to the game's three. 
That'll grab us a clue. We succeed by two, but I don't think we have any item assets in here. No, because of you. All right, we're fine here. Let's draw cards and gain resources. Okay. We're at two doom. Let's see who we got. Snakebite. Uh, five to three. I'll discard a card to draw another one. Sorry. Minus two. If you are poisoned, this test automatically fails. We are not poisoned, so the snake bite can go away. So that was action one. No, that was our evil card for the turn. That was our evil card. All right, action one. Let's try to grab this clue. Five, four, five. Plus three is eight. Eight to three. Good luck. I'll grab a clue and also not break our lock picks. Uh, action two will explore. Uh oh, where did my voice of the jungle go? Did I accidentally send it back into here? Okay, I know what to do. And then we'll shuffle this guy up. He must have accidentally deleted it somehow. Okay, action two, we explore. So we're looking for, honestly, it's probably just triangle. Arrow from the trees will have no effect. For our last action, we'll explore again. Serpent's Haven does work. Each Serpent enemy at Serpent Haven's location gets plus one to fight, you say. Okay. Cards and resources. We explored successfully. We don't even need to worry about that. Track shoes are nice, but not really anymore. Three. The Serpent from Yoth. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you get plus one fight, they say. Okay. Well, action one will attempt to evade this guy at five to three. Action two, we're going to play winging it from our discard pile, so we are at three to one. We will go four to one. If you succeed... If you played it from your winging it from your discard pile, we discover one additional clue if we succeed, which we do. Uh, this gets shuffled in. So that was one, two, action three. We're gonna just get in here. And then I think we're just gonna like spend the clues to advance. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around. Uh, what you have found is beyond your wildest expectations. Despite their supposed age, the runes appear preserved in time. Several aspects of the architecture are strangely futuristic. This is the runes of Etsley, right? It all checks out. Uh, you set out to investigate at once. Resolution 1. Okay. Thursday Journal. In your campaign log, we cleared a path to the Etsley runes. I'm going to add these in all after. Uh, Alejandro chose to remain at the camp because he's a baby. According to your campaign log that we earned Ishtaka's trust. For each vengeance point of the victory display, record one, so zero. And then we gain victory X, which is one, two, three, four, five. That's not bad, actually. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take it. I'll take it and I will, excuse me, you're supposed to be locked. Five, beautiful. Yeah, zero vengeance. Uh, we've earned Ishtaka's trust, chose to remain a camp. All right, I will add those in right now quickly. Cleared path to the Etsley runes. Um. 
Alejandro at Camp Earned Ish Tacos Trust. Clear the path. Did I spell Etsley wrong? We did. Much better. Uh, chose to run a camp. Ishtaka has earned, we've earned the Ishtaka's trust. Yig's Fury is zero. All right, let's do some interlude, shall we? Uh, check your notes if we have a blanket. We do, right here. Uh, low on rations. We have food, so we eat the rations. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, the lead investigator must choose one investigator to be the group's lookout, and then investigator checks his or supplies if they have the binoculars. We do, so we get to do shapes in the trees. Uh, we gain two additional experience. We're at seven, baby. Let's go. And then check your supplies. Each investigator with medicine. We do not have those. Honestly, that went pretty well. Apart from the, oh, this doesn't remove it, but not that that would have actually, I always mess up that one. Even losing this early on, which was rather unfortunate, things went okay. Honestly, things went pretty good for that one. Uh, if I made any rule errors, please let me know. I do sincerely, I do sincerely hope to make no mistakes when I record this series, but it's very likely gonna happen. Well, with talking everything through, my general having to be the camera as well as play the game as well as make sure the recording is going well without any errors or glitches and i am also kind of an idiot so if i make mistakes i want to apologize for that i'm going to try to get as true of a solo experience as i can uh, but this is just honestly the first of many solo playthroughs i want to do i want to do more i want to get better at solo gameplay and i want to be able to talk about it with more knowledge of the game um thanks for watching everybody um, yeah, have a good one, and as always, GG's.